Hello YouTube, this is my 1976 Cadillac Fleetwood Braum. This car belonged to my grandfather when new and has been in my family ever since. It has 34,000 original miles, most of which were accumulated in the late 1970s on trips just like the one I'm plotting. For the last couple of years, I've been preparing the car for a 700 mile jaunt from my home in Kentucky to Daytona Beach, Florida, a voyage my grandfather and grandmother made many times. I've replaced the oil pump and repaired the damage to the floorboards caused by a burst heater core and the resultant coolant leak. I revamped the sound system. The car has a new radiator and timing chain and benefits from recent tires, belts, and hoses. We're still running the original carburetor and the gas tank has never been dropped. If anything's going to stop us, it's going to be fuel. everything it was built to do, which is just to uh, go around in near silence, comfort, laying down the miles, one after another, leaving the driver refreshed and ready to go for the next round. Of course, we've proved nothing yet. We'll have to see what happens tomorrow. We've got 350 more miles to go. Looking forward to it. We'll get out of here early uh, so we can, again, uh, stay traveling within daylight hours. Uh, but it occurred to me that lately this thing had not been making a whole lot of memories. It had been put up and kept up so much that it had not been out doing what it was supposed to do. And there are times that a trailer queen can become a prisoner. And uh, we've decided to jailbreak her today. Looking forward to laying down some more miles. 
tomorrow. It's a foggy start here in Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, 380 some miles to go. I had said 350, but I ran the calculations again, and uh, we had a few more than I anticipated. But uh, you know, they're not going to get done with us sitting here. So let's see what this old gal's got in store for us today. Starting the day at 35089. Come on. Not too happy this morning. One thing I didn't bring with me was some starting fluid, so if we can't get her to light off here soon, may have to run across the street. We can get going this morning. It's clear to me in hindsight that the correct course of action was to whack some sense into the carburetor instead of washing the cylinders with starter fluid. Most likely the needle in seats are sticky from the 47 years of buildup that preceded this trip. We're just going to let her purr a little bit here, uh, get warmed up. Uh, had to fight it for whatever reason this morning. She just didn't want to go. It may have been the fact that for 40 years uh, she'd never worked as hard as we worked her yesterday. Uh, if I had been awoken from slumber and put to the test, I might want to rest today anyhow. Uh, but, you know, we have an agenda here. We're going to stick to it. Glad she's decided to take part. <laughs> Late start dune dust to South Carolina's two-lane I-95 purgatory.
All in all, the Fleetwood performed admirably over the course of 714 miles. This was no barn find, and it wasn't an unfamiliar car, but one does not assume success when going cross country in a nearly 50 year old automobile. Let's reward her with a nice bath. aged very slowly over the years, but it has aged. She could stand a nice buff and paint correction, and we're ready to buy a second set of bumper extensions. However, all that can wait. Today, she's once again the queen of the road.
someday.